you ever been looking at Indian Chiefs and wonder what the difference between a bobber, chief, sport chief, and super chief is? Let's sit down with some of these and see where the difference is. Starting from the bottom today, kind of working our way up, we have the regular chief. So the regular chief is gonna have 19 inch front wheels, upside down forks. It comes in the standard and dark horse, which most of these bikes are gonna be standard and dark horse. The difference is standards have this analog gauge cluster and the smaller 111 motor. Whereas the dark horse have a 116 and the fancy touchscreen digital dash. So this chief dark horse, fancy dash, 116 motor, and it's a dark horse, blacked out, no chrome. Also, these things, they're like Legos. All these parts are interchangeable. You can upgrade, downgrade, move them around. They all fit on all of the chief lineup. So here we have a bobber, and strangely enough, that one next door is actually a bobber. Dark horse, standard. Big fat front wheel is gonna be the key diff. Dark horse, standard chief, comes with the mid controls. Bobbers come with the forwards. Standard chief, lower bars, no rise, bobber taller bars, U-shape. Sport Chief, completely different windscreen, syndicate seat, mid controls, 116, Challenger FTR front end. So dual disc, four piston Brembos, upside down forks, full tech package on all the Sport Chiefs. Sport Chief, six or 10 inch risers with a T-bar setup. Sport Chief, fancy digital display. And it comes in colors, this and this. Super Chief is designed to be the tour of the group. Big tall windscreen, factory leather bags on both sides. It also comes with the passenger pillion for two up riding, factory. And don't forget, forwards and floorboards, factory as well. Also, not a dark horse. See all the chrome? I'm a doctor, God damn it, Dave. I'm over here trying to record videos. This dude's making too much noise. Me, Big Dave. If you ever come down a whole shot, give him a shout out. That's right. There you go. So let's take some time to talk a little bit about this tech package. Four inch digital display. You can swipe up swipe down, change the different tack modes. This thing has gear indicator, RPM, fuel gauge, gear indicator, RPM, speed, no fuel gauge on this setting, but click this button. You can switch to built-in map with GPS. Zoom out, this is built-in, not connected to a phone. Boom, click around, you got the bike stats, you got your voltage, you got your temperature outside, fuel economy, how much range you got, switch back. You can go to your ride, you can see your tripometer, how long you've been out, elevation, how many miles. You can Bluetooth your phone or USB connect your phone and control it all from here. That's why you have all of these right here. You got your volume control up and down. So if you connect your phone Bluetooth, you can control it from your bike onto your helmet. This bike itself does not have speakers. Boom, basic settings of this bike. Ride and roads, standard, tour, and sport. So yeah, there's a little breakdown of the gauges. If you guys enjoy this video and wanna know the difference between all of the different Scouts, especially 2025s, leave a comment below, let me know. I can make a similar video and let you guys know what the difference between the Scout lineup is. All models, except for the Sport. Right side up forks, single sided rotor. It is still a four piston monoblock, but it's only on one side. Analog gauge cluster, has your speed. You got this little button right here to change through some of the settings. You can go from your trip meter, distance, Total miles, RPMs displayed right there. So this just has all the basic trip, trip information along with your speedo. All of these guys have the same headlight, but Chief has open forks and triple kind of old style, whereas the bobber is kind of covered up like this. So what's your favorite Chief? Sport, Chief, bobber, or super? Way over there. Let me know in the comments below.